everyone, my name is MJ Vilches and welcome to another part of the creation process of this month's TUPR challenge. We're currently working on uh, November's art challenge, which I, uh, the art that I'm working on or the animation that I'm working on is titled A uh, Bond. And before I switch over to Blender, I just want to say that this might have some spoilers in it this stream might have some spoilers about Gregory the Overlander by Suzanne Collins so you know if you haven't read the book yet I highly suggest that you steer clear from this stream for now you can come back later if you want to watch but yeah I think I made the animation in a way that it doesn't really spoil too much I mean even if you watch it um, it's still going to be you know, you probably won't understand what's happening and you won't understand the context of it all. But yeah, there will be spoilers most probably. So, you know, just keep it, keep a heads up or something. I don't know. So yeah, hey guys, I'm buddy, ZQ Store, Carly Car Car, welcome. Welcome. Let's uh, do some animations and also listen to uh, M Buddy's voice over and over again. And also mine. So this is the animation so far with the keyframes and extremes and some of the big breakdowns there already. I also added some lip sync. Added a lot since the last stream. Just so, you know, for this stream we are going to be focusing on adding uh, some breakdowns. Making the, uh, the motion smoother uh, before we proceed to cleaning it, cleaning it up. So yeah, here's the animation so far. Wait, let's make that bigger, shall we? And that is looking pretty pretty cool pretty good but we need to work on more stuff and we are going to be focusing on breakdowns for this stream so to break down some of this stuff here like like the wings what I'm gonna do actually is I'm gonna do something like this I'm gonna select everything and I have to be on the in the middle of these two frames right here for the wings because these are just frames of these two frames are just, you know, it, they're different, but they're the same drawing. I just kind of move the drawings, you know, for example, move with some parts like, like kind of like this when animating. I mean, when, you know, plotting out those keys. So it's easy to add breakdowns automatically, like adding a, what do you call it, splining for a 2D animation. So, yeah. Now, oh, everybody, I have to hear your voice to be able to animate properly. Because, you know, I need to sync everything up. And it helps with, uh, you know, immersion on, the, on our scene right here. So, yeah, I'm gonna go select this and tab into edit mode in the grease pencil. I'm gonna click this interpolate here. I'm gonna check interpolate all layers and all selected strokes. And then I'm gonna... Uh, press sequence and that should add breakdowns right here which then adds like spline to the wings so that the wings move like this as you can see and then it can even do that in between each of these frames right here but probably not for this one because this is a different drawing. These two are different drawings. They're not just something I moved. So uh, that process of interpolating like that won't work. It will probably have some error. See, as you can see, it does that weird thing happening there because they're not the same drawing. They're different keyframes. So I'm gonna have to go and draw this middle parts here if I wanna add a breakdown. But for now, let's try. Let's try and add breakdowns for this guys for this part right here because this is the same drawing just moved
Oh yeah, that doesn't look good. Yeah, yeah, that doesn't look good. Better not. Better not do that. I probably need to move this back here. And I will have to add the interpolation right here. Or probably not. Because apparently these are two different drawings. Yeah, no. Wait, I'm gonna check stuff here. Because those two should be the same. Hmm. Oh well. I'm just gonna go and draw that part again. Okay. So I'm gonna try interpolating this part right here. Yeah, the the other wing really does this. It changes in a weird way, so we're gonna have to fix that. How about this last part right here? So I need this last frame to be Yeah, right there. Then I'm gonna sequence that and let's see. I'm gonna have to sequence this one as well. Let's see how it looks. So that it you know it blends. Can I Yeah, that's probably a bad idea doing that late right there. So I guess I'm sticking with this first and last parts. And then we're going to do some breakdowns on the more detailed parts here. So guys, what's happening there? What's happening in chat? Yeah, ZQ Star really is, you know, it's rare to see ZQ Star on a stream. But welcome. And thank you for watching. So, first, I'm gonna focus. Uh, wings will be easy to break down, so I'm gonna lock that for now. I'm gonna work on that later. We are gonna focus on Aris's head for this stream, so we're gonna unlock the head layer here, and uh, work on some breakdowns for Aris's head here. So they're much smoother to look. To look at, excuse me, to look at. So these are just stuff that I, I kind of just moved the, I'm going to try the sequence here. And this, I will need to animate something here. I need to animate like a, a, a slightly closed eye here. And the head turned a little bit. I'm probably gonna copy this keyframe right here, Shift D, copy that, and then I'm gonna move it back a bit. I'm gonna turn on the proportional editing, but uncheck the connected only, so that if I move stuff, if I move the head, you know, all of it will be moving. I'm gonna put the 3D cursor here as well. I'm gonna set the pivot pivot point to 3D cursor. And then selecting this just this one point right here, I'm gonna move Aris's head slightly back up in the middle of you know if I crank up the opacity of the uh, onion skinning here, the first uh, the first uh, the frame before is the green one, and the frame after is the blue one or the purple or whatever is the color of that. So. That's probably a 
So yeah, I'm going to delete the pie, the R, the I area here, because we need it to be slightly closed. So I'm gonna control L. Delete that I. I'm gonna reduce the opacity of the onion skin because it's distracting. And then let's. So how is the stream, guys? Is it like is it okay? Is the uh, recent YouTube issue not affecting it or something? I don't know. His eyes are gone here. Just need it to be slightly closing. So just drawing this, this part right here. Hey there, cars and whatnot. Thank you for uh, confirming and welcome to the stream. So, uh, a disclaimer, I'm not that great in 2D animation. Not even great at 3D animation. So there will be some uh, not so great things happening here. But in the right hands, uh, this features in Blender is really going to be OP. <laughs> So I need to fix that sudden snap of the... of the head there and I think I can fix it by... because uh, if this is the uh, frame before... So I'm probably I can probably fix it by moving the nose a bit. Uh, I'm gonna uncheck proportional editing for now. So like everything, I'm gonna move the nose like right in the middle of this two onion skin nose here. Same for this part maybe. Let's see how that looks. So there's a huge snapping thing happening. Especially the bottom of the jaw here. Let's do something about that. Let's turn on proportional editing again, connected only. And we're gonna set the pivot point back to median point, and then just put this jaw right in the middle of those two the, those green and green and lines there. I mean those green lines. Just so it doesn't look like it snapped right into a different place. This one as well. So yeah, feel free to like make some corrections if I'm doing something wrong in the animation part. Because I've n I did not go to any kind of animation school. I only went to YouTube University. <laughs> kind of search around YouTube some for some free tutorials and videos about animations that's pretty much how I got how I learned animation I can probably add a uh, sequence here oh that's ruined never mind
for this breakdown right here. Uh, for some reason in 2D animation, this keyframe time keyframe type is not working. Let me see. I I insert blank insert blank keyframe active layer. No, not blank keyframe. I want to insert duplicate active layer. Yes, all layers. So that's also the same as like moving this, moving this slightly and then canceling. That will add a keyframe. Kind of doing this here, this duplicate active keyframe from all from all the layers that are selected or enabled. I think that's what it does. And for this one, I'm just gonna move the head a bit. I'm gonna go back to 3D cursor again. It's the pivot point. I'm gonna grab the part right here. Turn on. I mean, uncheck connected only. Or maybe I'll just select all of them and, or maybe not. I'm gonna do this. Uh, I might have to go back to pivot point for this one, not rotating it. I'm gonna start with the nose area right here. I'm gonna move it right on the middle. Tell you what, Control Z. I'm gonna select all of the nose. Because the nose seems to be the one that's like at the center of it. bring back some stuff here I think what I'm gonna do for this breakdown here, I'm just gonna copy this frame. Shift D. And I'm just gonna rotate it back up a little. Set the pivot point to 3D cursor. Just move the head back up. Probably right here. And I also need to break down this part right here. So I'm gonna go one, two frame. And select all that. Feel free to ask any questions, by the way, in a chat if you have. If you have any questions about Blender or animation, I'm gonna try to do my best to answer them. So what I'm doing here is just moving it like in the middle of those two frames. So maybe he starts opening his eyes like in this frame right here. I can probably just sequence this because I only copied the this frame and he starts opening his eyes right here I'm gonna copy this frame right here put it right there or maybe yeah maybe right there is fine select everything and I'm gonna rotate it back towards the middle there I'm just moving it like this. This is probably not the best way to deal with this. I'm gonna be redrawing the eye part here. Uh, what am I doing? Oh, what's happening here? Looks like I did that thing again where this comes out. 
Ah, it's a guides. It turns on guides. If guides is turned on, you can't do some editing, I think. Now you can. So I'm gonna slightly close his eyes here. So I'm gonna delete both this eye area. Control L. Delete that. So the previous frame, the eye was closing, and then for this frame, this is between the eye closing and the eye opening. So I might have to slightly still close the eyes like that. Like this. Make sure it's between those green and purple lines and still following the proportions of our bat of Aries so most of the breakdowns will be focused here on the part where he turns his head and I'm gonna be copy and pasting some of the frames there to save time as well So this one, I think the parts for this part, it's fine if it's just the mouth moving because we're trying to do like an anime style animation anyway. And mostly in animes when people when like a character is talking, it's just the mouth moving. And hopefully I do achieve like that anime style thing for this one. I'm still not sure about that part. Okay, so... I need to break down this so that the head doesn't snap like that for each from each, uh, for each frame. Yeah, it smoothly like raises up. So maybe I have to break down this part right here. So let's just go to uh, edit mode. Select like everything. I'm actually going to copy this frame right here, this. And then I'm going to rotate, uh, to kind of... The finished uh, uh, cars and whatnot, and it's actually just about 570 frames long. Just a few seconds. I can show you the whole thing right now. So these are just, you know, keyframes and extremes. No breakdowns yet for some. And that's just it, and then it loops. So yeah, let's continue doing some breakdowns. Should be at this frame right here. Yeah, this is not our frame. I'm supposed to add it right here, I think. Let's see what our automatic interpolation does. It's probably gonna ruin a lot of stuff. Ooh, it actually, it's actually pretty nice. Except for the fact that Uh, the mouth area it's kind of having a lot of lines being deleted there so an easy fix but you know that's not even gonna matter because this is just a guide and I'm gonna be working more on that part when it's the final one like the cleanup part
probably need to raise this frame right here a little bit. So I'm gonna go and 3D cursor. Just rotate it right here. And I'm probably gonna do the same thing right here. And this one. This one as well. I'm gonna just rotate that in the towards the middle there. And I probably need to make the mouth. And let's just fix up some lip sync here. Make the mouth, you know, smaller as a for the or. I need to set this to connected only. I swear. Yeah, just like that. Probably need to uh Thanks everybody, but you know, I still have a lot of stuff to learn before I could really call myself Great, good. I'm gonna delete this too. Thank you. Probably need to open this mouth up more. So yeah, there we have our head, you know, it's tilting up like that, smoother than before. And then this part as well, when the head start, the head starts going down. Let's add a keyframe in the middle of those two, and just rotate it back, something like that. Same for this one, I think. Wait. Hmm. So there's a snap right here, and I think we have a keyframe already done right here to deal with that. This slightly open eyes, we'll need that there. Hopefully I can find it. I think it's right here, shift S, cursor to current frame. Yeah, it's that one. I'm probably gonna just do something like this. I'm gonna tab into edit mode, interpolate, sequence this one. I will need another transition here as well, which we we're at, that's at 278. You have to remember that. Let's see, 278. There should be a frame between this two. And it looks like this part I have to redraw. Yeah. Or maybe this is supposed to be here. Nope. Okay, we'll have to redraw this part right here. So I'm just gonna go select all of that, rotate this a bit. Move this parts right here. I'm gonna go back to and uncheck that connected only right there maybe rotate it 
upwards like that. I'm gonna turn off proportional editing. And I'm just gonna control L and move that in the middle here. And I have to make sure that the eyes are slightly closed. So let's just draw a slightly closed eye right here. As it starts to, you know, as it transition, it's a transition from the blink and the open one. So just something like this, I think. And it looks like I also need to do something for for this part right here. I also need to do that blink thing. Probably rotate. It's this one. Let's try and move it in the middle. So another So it's this one, right? What the what have we done? Okay. Yeah, I need to Ah looks like I edited the wrong keyframe there. So this frame and this frame, I need to put a blink, a transition for the blink here at 274. So you gotta remember that, 274. So turn on proportional editing again. I'm just gonna move here. I, make, I gotta make sure that I'm in 274 and moving stuff here. And then I'm gonna delete the eyes and add like a slightly opened eyes for the transition of the blink. So let's do that. Two seventy four. So just something like that. Nice. So there's still a whole lot of cleanup that we need to do for this. There we go. Probably need to make a transition here as well. Yeah, this part right here. So is this keyframe and that keyframe the same? Only the eyes are different, but I think, yeah, I guess we can just rotate this slightly up right here. It's becoming difficult. So now I think we need to So I think Aris's head 
the part uh Ares' head here is already you know in terms of animation it's already great i just need to clean it up let's watch this So this part right here, I think it's the nose that's making it seem like it's snapping. So let's try and do something about that. Probably move the nose part right here a bit more. I'm going to go median point for this. Probably a bit more like so, like in the middle of those. Probably have to do the same right here. Not sure. And also move the nose slightly outside. Right here. But yeah, you don't see those kinds of cases even in animes, even the, the finished ones. And like I said, I'm not that great in 2D animation. If this is 3D, it, this won't be a problem. You can just uh, spline it and everything's fine. Every, every angle is great. If I have a 3D model of a bat, I won't be doing this, but since I haven't modeled the bats yet. For TUP. The Underland Project, by the way, is a project that I started to bring to life some events from the book, Gregory the Overlander by Suzanne Collins. And this little animation that I'm doing is just kind of like a filler while I still work on the 3D animation. But yeah, it's really looking nice. I, I don't even know I could do this kind of stuff in 2D. But I guess after 3D animation a lot, you know, kind of develop some skills. Because I haven't 2D animated uh, this much for like a long time. Even gave up on it. But since it's so easy to do it in Blender now, wanted to dabble into it again. I'm just <laughs> kind of repeating here, just checking if it's great. I think it's great. I'm gonna leave it. We can lock Ares's head now and go proceed to Gregor's head. And the challenge for Gregor's head is going to be that hard hat. So I might cheat there because you can see, look at that jump right there. The shape of the hard hat will have to be consistent. So I might do some, I might get some 3D hard hats and use that as a reference if I can actually find one maybe we can try and do that right now let's see let's see let's go to blendswap.com so I'm doing it on the other screen you won't be able to see it while I type my password I'll show it in a while after I'm done logging in logging into it uh, you're probably I probably it's probably not a good idea to have the screencast on while typing passwords so I'm gonna turn it off for now And hopefully blend swap will load in. I don't think it will. Yeah, blend swaps probably not gonna load in. Let's see. Let's try to look for hard had 3D model free 
blender. Well, let's see this. So maybe the OBJ will work. I wouldn't do this if I already have a hard hat model. But since I don't have one, I'm gonna have to resort to getting a free model here. I think this will be fine. I think I can import this in Blender. So we're gonna be using this hard hat model as a reference for breakdowns and stuff. I'm gonna quickly animate it. So let's see if I can even download this one. Yeah, I think internet's really not great today. Or, you know, Google. I don't know. Hmm. Oh, it's ready here. I'm just dumb. Let's see. There we go. Need to put it in uh, templates. Blender, I think. Uh, no, not Blender. Maybe documents. Now, I have Blender. Things. Is it here though? I'm just gonna put it here. Okay, that should download easily because it's not a heavy model, I think. I'm gonna extract it, extract it. Uh, probably This is probably not the best place to extract it because I might think I'm the one who modeled this. But yeah, let's check the license of the hard hat. I'm not really gonna be using the hard hat, just, you know, using it for reference. I'm not gonna use the hard hat for the actual animation. It's a personal use license, so it's fine, I guess. I'm not gonna be using it for the final animation. I'm only gonna be using it as a reference. And I think it's fine. So let's go back there. I'm gonna go to Blender. Uh, templates. I think it's in Documents. Mm, it's not in Documents. Maybe Blender. Or it's probably in the files, the documents, Blender files. Yeah, it's right here. Props. I'm just gonna paste it here. And extract here. And I should have an OBJ file now, which I will import here in Blender. So let's do that. Let's import file, import uh, OBJ, and let's go back that hard hat one again so it's only 43 minutes I think we'll be able to finish up to Gregor's uh, breakdowns for this stream and I'll, then I'll just do the wings because it's just gonna be the same process anyway so I'm gonna go to uh, about to sneeze well it's cancelled that didn't feel great anyways yeah, uh, it should be in um, files, D, documents, Blender files, props, forest safety. And I'm going to import this OBJ file. It's going to be a big one, of course. And yeah, 2.9 has that problem with the thingy. So let's position this nicely here. And scale it down. Alt R that. Scale it down. And I'm just gonna position it by eye, right there on Gregor's head, and probably move it back so we can see the stroke. And this is just going to be a reference for the hard hat, so I can and you know, I can draw it properly. We're gonna we're gonna have to redraw the hard hat here. But yeah, I think that's positioned nicely there. So let's let's do some let's check let's, let's go let's check this it's right here the first frame for Gregor's head will be right here I'm gonna set this to dope sheet so we're back to like the 3d animation dope sheet and I'm gonna go lock location rotation scale I'm gonna add a look uh, for keyframe for rotation location and scale and I'm gonna set the interpolation to constant later but first let's see this is the next frame. Uh, no. Location rotation. I'm just gonna move this up. Actually, probably rotate it on the Y axis of the object. Move this up right here. 
And uh, yeah, it didn't save the location because I did not turn on auto keying. So that, that's important. Y axis. So let's set the interpolation of this to constant for now. And the next frame. Let's move it up. Our Y. So this is just like, you know, one of the techniques you can do and it's so easy to do in Blender because, you know, you're working in like a CG environment. And yeah. What do you mean, M buddy? But yeah, just you know, being able to use a 3D object as a reference like this, animated, and then it's one of the things that I like about animating in Blender. Uh, why? Why? Yeah, that looks nice. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the hard hat was so big. And I think you're uh, you know, you're referencing your Athena, giant Athena work. Let's see. Need to move to the next frame, which will just be. Just gonna go do. Uh, do something like this, and then get this keyframe because it's gonna be the same. And then this one. And then the last one is back to its original position. So now we have a hard hat here that we can use as a reference. I think it's nice. So first I'm gonna edit the keyframes, the drawing of the hard hats. So let's go back to uh, Grease Pencil here so we can see the keyframes for the Grease Pencil or do the animation again. And uh, make sure that the Gregor head layer is the only one unlocked. So it is. And it's proven because it's the only thing selected when I pressed A, which is shortcut for you know selecting everything. So yeah, I'm gonna be deleting the hard hat drawing parts here. And control L, X, delete that, and I'm gonna be using this 3D model that we have as a reference to draw the new hard hat that we have. And I'm gonna be using this same hard hat as a reference for the cleanup, which we'll do in the future. So I'm also gonna be hiding this part in the of the hard hat of the hard hat hard hat on Aries's fur. So I'll do that when I'm do the clean when I do the fur part of the animation, which will be another process. Uh, I mean, its own process. And the next keyframe. Let's get rid of this hard hat here. L, X, lead the points. Let's draw the hard hat. So just having a reference is so nice, especially if it's right here. Blender is really great. Just being able to do this. It's one of the things that I've been wanting to do in other 2D programs, 2D animation and software. So let's remove this hard hat. Control L, delete that. 
this part as well. And draw. And yeah, I will have to model my own hard hat though for the fire for like for the animations for the 3D animations. Because as much as possible, I do not want to use other people's models for it. Unless, you know, it's a person that's directly collaborating with me on the project and modeled it. By, you know, someone modeled it. Someone who's part of the project modeled it, not someone who, you know, I just didn't get the, the assets to, from the internet. Okay. So this should give us a really nice looking animation having like a, a reference because even disney and other great studios out there are doing that they're using live action references or references or you know reference of, references of any kind that's a very important thing in the process of animation and you know you don't have to feel bad about using one because everyone is doing it even the even the great ones it's actually a necessity So yeah, just draw, trace the parts here. So just a rough sketch, because this is just like for just to making sure that the motion is nice. And I'm just gonna copy this for each of the frames. I'm gonna copy our hard hat drawing here. And I'll control L and I'll control C and the best thing about Brender as well is you can copy paste certain strokes. You can just grab strokes like this. Control L and then delete that and just gonna control V and copies the stroke from the previous frame. I think you can do that in other programs as well, but just being able to select the stroke by point it's already a really awesome thing to do instead of like se selecting the whole stroke which you can still do in blender by uh, changing the select mode to stroke points which selects an entire stroke which is probably what i should be doing so that i don't have to control l a lot so i'm just gonna select this part right here and then delete that that should save us some time. But we shouldn't accidentally select the other strokes. Delete this, control V. There should be a fl flashlight right here, by the way. I'll fix that later. Yeah, there should be a flashlight on the hard hat. That's probably the only source of light that we have for this scene as well, so I better not forget about that. So, 54 minutes after doing this, I'm gonna try if I can still do some breakdowns for the animation of Gregor's head. Let me just quickly by the way guys if you yeah, you know, if you're on discord uh, there's a link in the description below to join my discord server where you can you know we can chat talk about the underlying chronicles if you're a fan of the underlying chronicles as well or blender and other art stuff if you want to share your works uh, my discord server is like the best place because I want to make it like a discord server for sharing your own creations your own works want to make it like a showcase hub for your talents and also if you're like trying to reach your dreams you know maybe you can find motivation by joining my server because i want that server to be like a motivation for dreamers and those who you know just decided that they're gonna do something pretty awesome so now we're about we're almost done with this part right here 
just have to copy some keyframes. So I have to copy this, I think. I'm going to delete this keyframe right here and copy. Off P this one, I think. Shift D that. And then copy this one where he starts going. Tilting down his head. And then this one as well. And then this frame where his head is down again. I also need to delete keyframes, old keyframes from an old hard hat. I'm gonna delete this keyframe and copy this one. So now I have to hide the hard hat. I'm gonna move this, move to a new collection, call this hide. Or maybe I should call that reference. Yeah, reference. So yeah, let's hide this for now and check out what we have so far. Okay, let's add just one, one breakdown right here. Right here. Probably this part right here. Let's turn on reference. Let's start by uh, adding breakdowns on the hard hat. Let's go to dope sheet. And what I'm, the way to do this, I'm just gonna shift E, which uh, doesn't work. It's, uh, I think, hmm. uh, I think it doesn't work because it's, we're, this is not a rig. So the interpolation for this won't work. Oh well, let's, let's try it here then. Set keyframe interpolation. Oh well. What I can do is just go and turn this to Bezier. And add this keyframe right here. Yeah. And then we can use that as a reference. Let's go back to the stroke here. Crease pencil. And let's start with a hard hat. So we're gonna be working on a new keyframe for this one. So if, if I draw, if I start drawing, it will delete a lot, all of the strokes, or you know, it would like treat this as the new keyframe and delete all of the previous strokes. So we can start from scratch. So just draw the hard hat here. I will also need to turn on the onion skinning. That's a very, my hands are not, you know, it's, it's not smooth. And uh, the ear should be right, right in the middle of these two ears right there. Um, I think I'll need to draw the straps right around here, I think. And there shouldn't be any change like at the bottom part there. Uh, let's draw the fur here. 
and also the hair. So I'm gonna go turn off the reference. And then this breakdown right here. Let's turn on the reference again. Let's see. So let's just add this part right here. So having a 3D reference really makes things easier. Than trying to do it, you know, by eye. And I'm gonna draw uh, eyebrows right there. Draw the straps right here between those two. And it's easier because uh, it's just a head. I'd have to do a better job at it when I clean up though. I start cleaning up. So nose should be right here. Eyes probably starts opening up because it's from close to open and then face right here which will mostly be covered by fur let's do that again I need the fur to be right here like that let's see turn off reference And I guess the final breakdown we're gonna add is this part right here. So that it doesn't head doesn't snap like that. The transition really is, you know, smooth. So let's turn on a reference again. And draw the final breakdown that we're gonna be doing. And for the part where Gregor goes back to uh, bringing down his head, we can ju we'll just copy paste the keyframes that we have here. This is the final drawing. So let's start an initial line there just to get rid of the previous keyframe. Do this. And just, you know, finish this thing. So just draw hard hat like this and that and that and things are becoming kind of difficult to pin for them. The key is uh, not to overthink things. <laughs> Just getting your mind to get used to the. So I'm just gonna go and draw the eyes. I'm gonna start with the eyes, I guess. Nose like that right here. Make sure that things are still nicely proportioned. Like that. And the fur. Mouth. And then hair. And then that should... That should be it. Let's hide the reference and let's preview this.
And then I'll just copy paste the I mean, just duplicate the keyframes for the head going back down and yeah that's it for uh, this stream uh, we did some breakdowns um, I think the animation is really great already I just need to break uh, add breakdowns for the wings and finish Gregor's breakdown for the head and we're ready for tomorrow which will be will probably be the start of cleanup but yeah we'll see for now that's it uh, thank you everyone for watching, to Mbuddy, to Cars and whatnot, to Carly Car Car, to ZQ Star, and to every anyone else who did not chat. Uh, thanks for watching. Also, uh, thank you to my Kofi, or my Golden Doodle Fuel givers, Magnolia Weather Shield, Eric Madrigal, Elizabeth Money, Tristan Winfell, Kira Gage, and Mbuddy. Thanks for the Golden Doodle Fuels. And yeah, if you want to support me in my endeavors, just go to code-free.com slash Doodle Productions. Follow Doodle Notes Productions everywhere on the internet where you'll see Doodle Notes Productions and subscribe to Doodle, the Doodle Boat for, you know, creation processes of films and animations and stuff. So, yeah. Also, you know, if you want to join the Discord server, join the Discord server. The link will be in the description below. And yeah, I think that's all. Thanks for watching. My name is MJ Vilches and... Yeah, I gotta, I gotta go finish this thing for, or prepare it for tomorrow. Bye.